Hey guys, you want to play with me? Come on, let's go! Hi, my name is Michelle, and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own packing tape drum. This was actually my packing tape drum right here. I really noticed that um, the regular drum that I made by using an oatmeal container and some balloons or swimming caps that was from my series of homemade musical instruments now i made another one that's with packing tape as a drum head so you can also make that too for your drum here are all of the things that you need to make your own packing tape drum you will need an oatmeal container or a giant soup can lid or anything else you can use as a drum. For me, I use this right here. This is one of my old toy drums that I don't use anymore because you know why I uh, throw some of the pieces away? Because it is broken. You know why it is broken? Because, um... Back in June 2013, um, the video was filmed right here in June 2013. Um, that was actually the video of me when I was four years old. This was filmed back in the Philippines, which were my mom and my dad lived there. And it really noticed that that was the video of me playing my drum. It really notices that back in our old house in Barwa, um, my sisters and I used some tape to tape the drum, but the tape is starting to remove, so I completely removed it. So um, I now use it as a new drum to make. Hope you enjoyed the short video. All right, let's continue. You also need some packing tape right here. Scissors. Two chopsticks as drumsticks. And you need some red colored paper. All right, so the first step you had to do is to put some clear tape, which is your packing tape right here. If we put some packing tape on the top of the, of the cylinder, that flat cylinder shaped drum container, this will become the drum head. So we had to um, do this right here to find the end. You always had to find the end of your drum. That's the important thing. I'm going to um, put this at the middle. And then you have to, this again, cut it with your scissors. And here's how it's supposed to be right here. And then do the same thing like we did last time. I think we had to um, put this above right here. And I think it's supposed to be right here, as you can see. There we go. It's almost done, as you can see. We also need to um, do the same thing at the at the four holes that are still there. So here's how. More tape.
looks like we're almost done guys so um there we go looks like we're almost finished looks like we're almost done I think this is supposed to be kind of way like this. I think above right here. I think it's supposed to be through there. So, um, since there's still, um, there's still eight holes, as you can see, we're also going to do the same thing like we did before. So, like that. Then the last three ones. So, I don't know. Not close. You have to know that um, this is so important. You need to ask your parents to help you make this. There we go. Then the last step. All right. Right. Looks like we're almost done. And as you can see, it's all finished. And um, now, um, since this drum is so cool, we're going to test it out with the chopsticks first, right here. It sounds good. The next thing we had to do is to decorate the drum. So we're going to use something like um, colored paper. So this is how we're going to do this. I think we had to um, use some tape right here for this. Hold on.
Alright, so the drum is now finished. It's all beautiful. But we need to decorate it too. So, um, let's use markers. Before we decorate it with markers, the paper is quite loose at the bottom. So I had to use more clear tape so that it will be better. There we go. Time to decorate it. We're going to decorate it by using circles. Then we're going to, um, let's see, it looks like it's not recently done yet. We can notice that the tape is almost loose, so I had to put some more tape. There we go. You can also decorate it, so instead of circles, you can use zigzags. It's okay if, if it's not recently good because um the zigzags are even worse from the tape. 
There we go. Do the same thing. Let's try to turn it because that will be a bit easier. There we go. Our drum is finished. As you can see. It really notice that in the inside it's so sticky from the head. So here's how we're going to do this. So we're going to um, remove the sticky part by using more scotch tape. As you can see, or more packing tape. Need to find the end. Alright guys, so um, the inside of the drum is now not sticky anymore and it is now good and it's not recently sticky. So it's just like that. And um, this is so nice because it sounds pretty good as we play it. So. going to um, decorate the drumsticks now. The chopsticks are the drumsticks as you can see, but um, it really notices that um, we had to uh, use tape again because we had to um, make it into a little ball. So here's how we're going to do this. We first actually um, do this. We had to make a long piece like that. Let me cut this first. Wait, wait, hold on, it's not recently good. Had to wrap it around kind of like this. You can use bamboo sticks if you wanted to use them as drumsticks, but chopsticks is better. I picked the tall ones. I have eight chopsticks, but I pick only the long ones that they're very tall because that will be much better because they're so long. Right, and it looks like the stick is done. And it sounds amazing as you can see. But 
without the thingy, um, here are the two sticks that are formed it. So here's how. So if I play it without the, if I play the chopstick as a drumstick without the duct tape for the little top circle, when I hit it, it will not sound good. But if I use some tape for the circle, it will sound even better. So listen to the sounds of the differences. Because if I put my thumb right here, it will change the pitch like this. So here are the differences. So we're going to do the same thing for the other one right here. Now, where's the end? Oh, there it is. Same thing, make it long too. guys that is a disaster hold on guys let me fix it all right okay so we're going to um wrap it around like the same thing that we did just like that all right so our packing tape drum and drumsticks are finished and it really notices that it's so amazing, as you can see. Let's go to um, the, the couch. Since we can't go to the couch right here, we can use it right here. And here's how it sounds. sounds amazing and unique and as you could guys can see why it really notice that well at the beginning while I was playing my drum I was hitting at the rim it's okay because you can also hit at the rim too like this like a bit like Bit used to it, like um, this is about like thinking about it. So so amazing. <laughs> and yeah, so here is my solo. Amazing as you can see. Um, if I if I squeeze the drum with my legs, it will change the pitch too. Even though if I use my thumb too. And yeah, so that is your finishing drum. So, um, thanks for watching. And if you wanted to see the drum that I made by using an oatmeal container and some swimming caps, make sure to go check out that video. 
and um, please subscribe to my channel and um, see you guys next time and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe.